Hello, I'm JW. This time I'm going to have a look at a couple of items that were sent in recently, and these are some fake fuses and some fake flex. Now these say were sent in, uh, some fuses and some uh, flex as well. Here's the letter that uh, came with that. So we've uh, basically got a couple of uh, cable samples here. They're actually uh, two core flex, so uh, here they are. And uh, these are supposed to be the same size as in identical, but uh, as we'll see in a moment, uh, they most certainly are not. And I thought it was a bit thin. And we've also got a couple of uh, 20 amp fuses, which uh, though may look perfectly nice and genuine, if you uh, didn't know, BS1362 is the uh, standard for fuses which go into plugs like this, and the standard defines the maximum rating as being 13 amps, so anything above 13 is clearly not made to the standard, and therefore is a file of fake rubbish. And uh, that's exactly what we've got here, these are 20 amp ones allegedly, but of course such things shouldn't exist. And if you put a 20 amp fuse into a plug that's only designed for 13 maximum, clearly uh, overheating and damage is likely. So we'll uh, have a look at those as well. And uh, there's their YouTube and uh, Instagram details as well, if we wish to go and look at some of those. So look at these 20 amp uh, jobs first of all then. King Guan apparently is the brand on those. BS3062, which of course it isn't because there's no uh, definition in that standard for a 20 amp fuse. Ceramic fuse. Well, it might be, but uh, that's kind of what they should be made of anyway, so really stating the obvious. Now, what we've seen before in the past other fakes along the same line. This is a 15 amp one, claims to be made by Busman, but of course it isn't. Busman do not make 15 amp fuses in this style, and of course nobody else should either. So it's along the same kind of thing. Quite why they're being made isn't particularly clear, because the only things these fit into, I say, are the standard UK plug, the BS1363, and uh, these are only rated to 13 amps, as it says in the middle here. And you can also get a couple of other things like uh, fuse connection units, which I think goes on the wall, as in an alternative to plug, it's just hard wiring in the same equipment. But again, they only go up to 13 amps as well, so uh, again, not really much uh, use there. And that's pretty much all these fuses are used for. Now, the red colour is normally used for 3 amp fuses. Here's a uh, reasonably reputable uh, example there. And we can see it's the same red colouring and the size. Again, it's the same, but uh, it's supposed to be red 3 amps, brown for 13. One of the uh, 13s here. And then uh, other colours end up being black. 3 and 13 are the most common now. You could get 5s uh, fairly commonly at one time, but they're not used much now. But you can also get other values like 1 and 7 and that other things for various odd purposes. Now, these should be uh, filled with sand if they're any good because the uh, main point of these being ceramic and sand filled is that when a fault occurs there's a lot of energy involved here, bearing in mind these are generally on 32 amp circuits, and therefore you want any energy to be contained within, which is why they have a sand filling. So let's bust this open and see what we can find inside. So there we go, it does have a uh, sand filling there, and it does appear to be made of a ceramic type material, so at least that's uh, something. Although I say the value, of course, is uh, completely wrong, and it most certainly uh, should not even exist with that kind of rating, but uh, it does appear to be reasonably well manufactured. The fuse wire is probably secured to the end caps, and so it does have at least some sand filling inside. So, quite a bizarre item, not clear why anybody would bother making it because it doesn't really have any use. And uh, so if you're going to make fuses, you presumably would make them in the sizes that are, actually have purposes and uses for. Now let's have a look at these uh, two pieces of flex. Now have a look at the uh, markings on these. And we can see on the side here that we've got the actual specifications there. And the important part we're going to look for is the size. So it's 2 core and it's 0.75 square millimetres. And this uh, leader apparently is the uh, manufacturer of that one. And here at the end we can see the two conductors, blue and brown, in the standard colours. And then the uh, inner core is stranded copper. This is a, a flex, so designed for appliances, so we'll have a strand inside, so obviously it's more flexible. So that doesn't seem entirely uh, out of the ordinary. Now have a look at this one. Very similar markings there. I've put the two uh, together there. We can see that they're basically the same physical dimension outside. Very similar markings. These various sort of standards, approvals, and whatever else we've got there. Uh, this here is actually the type of cable. There's actually a whole code of these you can uh, go and look up. So 
Uh, and again, it's the two cores and the same uh, 0.75 size as well. But uh, if we have a look at the end of this one, straight away we can see that the actual inner cores are absolutely minute. So there's the comparison there, proper one underneath, and the uh, supposedly proper one on the top. So absolutely ridiculous. So uh, just because it has all the markings on it does not mean it's any good. All these things must be printed on by anybody. Really, it doesn't mean a whole lot. And if we have a look at this end here, we can see that's basically what it's like without the uh, solder on it. So it's literally just a few odd strands of some kind of material that might actually be copper. Yes, it does bend and hold its shape. But uh, rather obviously, there's a colossal difference between those two. And if you're going to put uh, okay, you had a current through this, it's going to get hot and melt very quickly, even if the uh, actual thing was supposed to have this size of flex. And this is a look at the end. I've just cut them off uh, flush there with some cutters. And again, you can see that what they've done, the outer dimensions are pretty much the same. But on the left one there, we've got the correct amount of copper inside and fairly thin blue and brown insulation. And then on the uh, FACO cable on the right, the insulation is actually much thicker. And then you've got that little tiny hole in the middle, of course, where the super thin wires actually go. So they've done it deliberately to make it look and uh, feel the same on the outside. But of course, they've just uh, bulked it out with extra plastic insulation. Plastic, of course, being much cheaper than copper wire. So don't be fooled thinking that stuff's cheap, and therefore it won't be subject to making making fakes, because it obviously will be. Always buy the stuff from reputable suppliers, and beware of stuff that seems too cheap or comes from uh, suspect locations. So that's it for this time, and until next time, thanks for watching.